Okay, I just started a new painting here. Let me get some close ups. Kind of an interesting sky. Kind of really rough, kind of foundation. A little bit more detail in there. Um, now, I just kind of laid these little lines in here right now, and now I'm just going to blend them out a little bit so they're not so overpowering. When I'm doing this, it'll strike some other little details that I can see that I can rework and blend out. Maybe come in with a little bit more red right in here. Blend it out. Like I said, sometimes one thing you do has an effect on the surroundings. That when you're looking at it, you just kind of say, well, okay, well, that changed that area. And I can rework that with a little bit of something else. Uh, it's going to blend in there a little bit. Now I'm going to come in with some of that um, yellow ochre here. And I'm just going to blend some stuff in. Maybe make a little shadow of a darker I'm looking for little kind of cracks and crevices that I can follow up on. Still like the little bit of highlights in here to make the separation between the background. Now, it does have some really interesting little fade-ins and fade-outs and things. So, some of it doesn't look natural, but it, it works for me. You know, hey, it's watercolors and there are some random things. And sometimes if you you try to eliminate them, it it just messes things up. So you just accept, you know, it's not perfect. And I'm not going for perfection. I'm not going for realism. It's an impression. It's almost abstract. If you were to go down into a little small section of anything in here, it would be abstract. You wouldn't be able to make it out. So anyway... Okay, so um pretty happy with the success so far. Um, sky is totally uh, just fun, make-believe. Uh, but it seems to work. I just like the variety of colors. Um, now, especially right in here, you know, you would think, oh, that, that's not going to happen. Of course, that looks more realistic, but... I just like the variety of kind of some oranges and yellows in there going down in here. Now this is pretty much went in there and it did a lot more detail. Uh, now these are further back, but you can still see the detail pretty well. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to be working on the bottom part here. Uh, again, this is one of those things that um, a lot of detail. Now this side is not done. And I'm not going to probably work on this until I finish this bottom half here and maybe stop right about here and then, then work on this. So uh, right now it's just the foundation. So I'm going to be doing a lot of dry brush. Um, so I'm 
Now this striation part is mainly for trying to get some rhythm. So this kind of stuff right here, I can already see that there's, there's going to be some um, things I can do with this. Now I'm just going to define this little edge right here. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this yet. I don't know if it'd be lighter or darker. And that will happen with the pushing and the pulling out. But anyway, so this should look different. Okay, so because I have total freedom, I could do whatever I want. I'm going to put a <laughs> stag beetle on my paper. So this is the way I do insects or beetles or anything that's symmetrical. I will draw one side, transfer it over, flip it over, match up the sides. Now, I can alter the legs or anything else. The body should be symmetrical, but um, it makes sense if they look fairly similar. Um, that is my reference. I don't know if that's a good shot of it. The legs are very delicate. So right now, I'm just putting layers Now, I will give it that high sheen when I get to a place that makes sense to me. And we're getting pretty close. Now I'm coming in with a little bit of a darker umber just to give it some three-dimensionality. There's just a little bit right here. And there is a rather darker, almost black. Brown. So I'm gonna go on the outer edge. Now these legs are very delicate, so um, and they're all pretty much black, but I don't like using black. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of a highlight, something that they have these little spikes. Again, very delicate. Okay, well, I can't uh, do both. I 
And again, I'm just going to give it a slight highlight. And I'm going to come in here. Now, I, I'll be, like I said, I can't um, pretty much show the whole process. So I'm going to come into here with a little bit of a darker Payne's Gray to come in with this. And I'm going to pull the highlights out of this. And then come in with a damp brush, not wet. Now, I can almost tell that the colors are not the same. That's showing up on my illustration versus the camera, but that's just the norm. This is more of a golden brown. Anyway, so that's the way I'm going to perform this, and then I'll put a drop shadow on this. And again, I went into some of the detail more, especially on the top, trying to make a separation, make it more three-dimensional, and uh, making little layers. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm not going to put the little teeny, teeny parts of the leg because it, when I start doing the colors underneath, it'll just wash everything out. So they're there, but um, that's really fine detail and it'll get lost. So, um, and then I'll put the drop shadows. Now this is about 80%. I'll come into the legs and add some more highlights just to give it a little bit more of a spark um, and of course if anything else shows up I will change that also i um, going to pull some out from the the head part and give it a little, couple of little highlights um, maybe come in right in this little area right there. Highlight definitely there. Maybe a little bit more. Something similar to this. Just give it a little pop. Okay, so uh, went into this area, did a lot more details. And I could still go into that. Um, definitely went into that little area. Um, Kind of added some other stuff. Now this totally needs to be reworked. Um, did my beetle put a little bit of a shadow in there? Um, anyway, so what's going to happen is <laughs> it's not going to be worked down here. It's like a beetle crossed onto my paper and it stopped me from working. So that's the reason for this. And I'll get in there because there's some really small detail. Again. So you can see that um, some of these lines are pretty fine. Hello, um, I'm Steve Melendres, a model maker, illustrator, scientific illustrator, sculptor, design after history museum in Los Angeles done a lot of different things, um, but I'm going to be doing watercolor demonstrations of the techniques I've developed over the years. 
Um, and it's going to go from a lot of different directions. And also I'm going to be doing videos. Uh, I call them video posters for my daughter. So a lot of stuff that I can leave to my daughter about her crazy dad. <laughs> so um, I'm taking a lot of different directions, but mainly three. Um, so anyway, that's my introduction that I'm going to attach to every thing I'm doing now. So I don't have to repeat this. Be careful out there.